Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library, and today we're going to be reading another book off of the Chickadee Nominee List. The Chickadee Nominee List is a Kids' Choice Awards in Maine, and each year there are 10 books on the list. Today we're going to be reading Lunch Every Day by Catherine Otashi. Now Catherine Otashi wrote this story about Jim Perez, who was a bully when he was a kid, but after being shown some kindness, he grew up to help others and help prevent bullying. So this book is gonna have some bullying in it. Here's our main character. There he is, he says. Just look at him. Skinny neck, slumping. Is there a face behind his hair? I could topple him with the tap, yeah. Hey, that's my lunch. Mm. No way am I standing in that line. Mmm, at least his lunch is good. It's better than mine. Bet his home is better than mine, too. Older brothers, you know, get lost. So it's never okay to bully. And if someone is bullying, it's always important to tell an adult. But sometimes when someone is being mean, it means that they are also being treated meanly. So this boy here is bullying the kid he calls Skinny Kid because when he's at home, he's being bullied by his older brothers. The next day at school, I shove him extra hard just cause I can. Someone sees me do it and I end up in the office. The principal tells me to try my potential, blah, blah, blah. I look down like I feel bad, but mostly I feel mad. So some of us, or all of us really, if someone is not nice to us, or if someone yells at us or is mean, it's very easy to turn around and pass that on to someone else. If someone yells at us, to then yell at someone else. Or if we're in a bad mood, than to try to get other people to be in that bad mood too. And that is something that all of us have to work at because it's easy to pass on that bad mood. And it's very hard when someone is mean to us to turn around and be kind to others. Things stay the same for a while. Yeah, take that. I take his lunch and I take his lunch and I take his lunch and I take his lunch until Hey, oh, did you get one? Oh uh, yeah, the whole class did. Are you going? Sure, why not? Huh? Oh, skinny kids having a party. Everyone's invited. Oh, even me. What are you gonna wear? Maybe a new dress. I love parties. Whatever. I'm so not going. The morning of, I look out the window. I let the sun warm me up for a while. I put on my best shirt and I go. When I get there, everyone's holding a gift. I put my hands in my pocket. I don't have a gift to give. I walk down the pathway, up the stairs, to the front door. I see Skinny Kid's mom inside, holding his birthday cake. Everyone is celebrating in the kitchen, but I stay in the living room. Huh? Oh, look. The kids' photos say, forever in our hearts, love you, dad. So maybe this child has lost his dad. I'm not sure. But the bully kid is maybe seeing that other people have hard lives too. Sometimes even when things seem perfect, other people have troubles too. Everyone has their own troubles. I slump down in the chair, kicking air. I hear a sound and I look up. His mom is in the doorway, like she knows I'm here. Like she sees me, like sees me. She marches right up to me.
she says in a real quiet voice, oh, and we can see what he's thinking. He sees an adult and he thinks, please, I'm sorry, don't yell. Please don't yell. I think he is used to being yelled at at home. So he's used to hearing all these angry words and he's not sure what he's gonna hear from, from his classmate's mom. But do you know what she says? Jimmy, what would you like for lunch tomorrow? Nothing, I, I don't need anything. I, I hear, she says, I hear that you like my lunches. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make you a second lunch and my son will bring it to you every day. So even though he was being a bully and stealing the other boy's lunch, the mother realized it's because he didn't have a lunch of his own. He didn't have someone looking out for him. So this mother is going to look out for both of them. My son is going to bring you a lunch every day. And you know something? She did. And that's how I got lunch every day. And a whole lot more. A simple gesture or some kindness from others makes such a difference. Being angry and being mean to others can be contagious. If we hear mean words to us, it's so easy to pass it on, but it's also contagious to hear kind words. If someone smiles at you, it's more likely that you're gonna smile and pass that smile to others. So it's so important to one, consider that everyone comes from different places, that we've all been through different troubles, but also that kindness goes a long way. So there's an author note in the back. This story was written about this man here, Jim Perez, who used to be a bully. Jim Perez has been an educator in Southern California for over 20 years. Under his leadership, he and his innovative team have helped hundreds of thousands of kids through their bullying prevention program, gang intervention, and community building leadership services. This book is dedicated to Jim, one of the most remarkable human beings I've ever met, and to the lady who kept making all those lunches for him, day after day, the end. Great listening, everyone. So do remember, it's so important if you or someone else is being bullied to tell an adult. But after that, we can think about why someone is passing that hate around. It may be that someone is sharing it with them. I hope you all share some kindness today and I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.